So I got to admit that this little Tales from the Forest video series has become a real passion project of mine. As I mentioned in the first video, I haven't really done much woodland photography, and especially not in Denmark. And it's simply just because I haven't really been that much inspired by the Danish forests. But somehow I managed to change my mind and actually went out, photographed, got some success with it. And I think that's one of the motivating factors that you can actually see that it matters to go out and practice and try and yeah actually have success with it for me that's i gotta admit it's it's a big driving factor for me that i have success with what i do So I'm here at the first plant location and it looks really good here in the morning fog. So there were a little bit more fog just before. So I really have this nice scene where we have this fallen oak tree laying over the, the trail and another oak tree to frame the scene. And we have the trail right in the middle to lead your eye straight into the scene. And then we have this fallen oak tree uh, framed by the other oak trees. And because of the fog, we have a lot of separation to the background and the different layers. So it won't come off as too messy. The settings of my camera right now, I'm shooting at ISO 50, just to get a clean photo, aperture priority, and F16, simply just to get everything sharp from back to front. And then the shutter speed is what it is, and right now it's at 20 seconds. It's just after sunrise, so it's still fairly dark. So I'm now at the second place that I had scouted and I kind of like it. You have the trail coming through the photo and in between a couple of trees. And there's a lot of trees which are standing with like almost the same space in between them. So you do get this repetition of, of the trees through the photo creating some depth. Another fun thing is that <laughs> as you can maybe see here in the background there are cows in this forest roaming three and obviously it, it haven't been a problem yet that they're in my composition if they do go into my composition it's actually fine it, it's cool having a cow in there um, but there's also like a lot of cow droppings all over the place so i have to be extra careful of where i am putting my feet so I have a few different options for photographing this scene and I will just try out a few different compositions. What I also really like about this scene is this almost like gate, which is created by this old oak tree. And then behind it, you have a beech tree and it looks kind of cool. I, I really like the scene, obviously, because it's just such a strong frame. 
The focal point will likely be the beech tree in the background and I'm not entirely sure if it's strong enough to be a super exciting photo. The framing is probably what carries this one home. I like it. It's a little bit hard to say why I like it, but I don't know, some interesting forest gate. So it's also important to jump on the opportunities when you see them. And just here behind me, I have this tree here, oak tree. And if I move far enough back and zoom in, I can actually make sure that there's not really any part of the sky behind it. So I only have this gnarly branches, or these gnarly branches going through the scene. And then with a little bit of fog, between to make it stand out and kind of silhouette and at the same time we have a little bit of light coming down from above so it really stands out it's a very very simple almost abstract photo super basic just an oak tree where you can see the branches going through the forest or twirling through the forest So I'm at another location that I had scouted beforehand and it's all these oak trees here in the background, like nice depth and I even have a branch here that helps framing the photo. But the fog doesn't really seem to do that much of a difference to this particular photo. Uh, at least the fog is not thick enough. I had also hoped and I kind of predicted that the sun would come up and shine its rays down through the fog and down through the trees because the sun should be around here, up here somewhere. Uh, but there seem to be uh, also high clouds or mid clouds or even low clouds. So no sun today, sadly. So I will have to just work with the fog, which is also good. This is a location I will come back to for sure. and can hopefully get something with some rays coming through the trees. So this oak forest is actually not that big. So I basically just circled around on the path and now I've come back to where I started. And yes, I was just distracted by a cow or standing <laughs> looking at me. So I basically just come back to where I started. It was too dark to vlog when I came here. 
and I'm basically just exploring all these different oak trees and see if I can find some more compositions. I do predict a composition here behind me. I am not entirely sure if it will work, but I found another one just using the long lens or well it's still the 24 to 105 just zoom all the way in and get the scene here behind me looks really nice so yeah i'm just uh, playing around a little bit trying to see if i can find some patterns and some shapes and maybe an occasional cow So this was Tales from the Forest 3 and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to learn more about composition, be sure to check out my ebook down in the description. I also have a light version if you're not sure you want to spend $20 on it. It is all free. It is a cut down version and you can just get it by signing up to my newsletter also. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out the links down below and as always I would highly appreciate both a like and a comment.